No matter what has been happening in the skies above the US over the past week, you know, the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down by an F-22, boom, just like that at 60,000 feet. Look at that, that was a clean shot here and here we got have the spy balloon coming down. I mean, you know, the concept of spying is nothing new and it's nothing surprising, but this is still quite crazy, especially since two other objects over the past week have been shot down by the US Air Force as well. Yes, lots of turbulence in the media, lots of things going on. I mean, check this out, isn't this? I mean, it's kind of cool though, I, I, I like this. And I mean, this kind of invites us to go on a bit of a aviation mission here on this channel. <clears throat> How about we shoot down our own balloon? Simulate this case. And everybody guess who's gonna help us? Yes, of course, our good old friends at X-Plane. Because they have brought out the balloon for the flight simulator, genuinely. Like, that's what they sent me. We've got a little Chinese spy balloon for ourselves here. Yes, you know, imagine this. We've just completed our journey from Alaska over to Canada. And now we're here somehow ended up uh, above South Carolina at 60,000 feet. And now our mission is to shoot this thing down. Isn't this great? And we do not have an F-22 in X plane, you know, the plane that they used to shoot this balloon down in real life. But we've got, of course, the perfectly fine F-14 Tomcat. Yes, of course, the new one for X-Plane 12. And check this bad boy out. Come on, let's get full power here. Yes, check out the afterburners. Absolutely beautiful. And we are now here spawned into Savannah Airport. Here we go. Let's get full power here and um, actually fight this balloon now. Come on, there we go. That was a very unstable takeoff. I'm sorry, but everything's looking all right. And let's just go ahead and get up into the skies, 60,000 feet, where we will meet our Chinese spy balloon indeed. <laughs> Come on, we're not 51,000 feet. That should be somewhat high enough. I mean, the good thing about this balloon is that it's actually pretty large. And while it's very defenseless, I mean, it's a stupid balloon. It should be super easy to shoot down, but the 60,000 feet sounds like quite a bit of a challenge. But now it's time, everybody, to inspect the weaponry. So come on, let's get the master arm going. Get this plane into, there we go, air-to-air -air mode here. And just try to select the target. I really haven't completely figured out the whole... Oh, um, I've sent a rocket away, everybody. Well, that might have just done it already. <laughs> Lamal, we try, try to do this properly, please. Oh, I'm, I'm just sending missiles away. I mean, that won't hurt, hopefully. I mean, okay, missiles aren't that cheap. But everybody, there is the spy balloon. Maybe we'll be able to see an explosion and then... Oh, it's like, oh, it's actually coming towards the... Oh, is it going to shoot it down? <gasps> is it going to work? Yes. All right, this should be interesting. All right, we are way lower than that, than that little balloon. And we're way too fast as well. I mean, of course, the balloon is almost stationary compared to us. So that's been a fail. Thank you very much. Now, have we wasted all our weapons? Yes, we have. But that doesn't matter because we can just rearm this plane here. There you go. So it's got all the weapons back. And let's just come on. Let's maybe try to shoot once again here. Just maybe use all of those things. The tracking should be quite easy. Where's the spy balloon? Will it show up? Oh, it's right there. I've got it. Let's just fly towards it. I mean, something else we could try is just that go kamikaze and just crash against it. Maybe just like gun it down as well. That could work. Wouldn't that be cool? Right, we've got some missiles flying towards it. Those might just work. How am I failing to hit a target that's not even able to defend itself? Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chinese spy balloon. All right, try number three. Come on, let's rearm. Here we go. Got all the weapons back on board. Come on now, a bit of a higher altitude here. This might be able to do it here. We're straight on course. All right, I mean, we've got this Chinese spy balloon right there. I just want to crash into it. God damn it. Why can't it just be another plane? It would be so much easier to shoot that one down and just chase it down. Come on. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Come on. Is that going to work? That might just work. All right. Here we go. Final missiles. I mean, that only took a thousand tries. Yes! But I mean, what we've finally been able to bring down the spy balloon. And look at that. We've got like some proper animations here of this spy balloon coming down. Check this out. So the funny thing is that the way that this mission works is through the AI aircraft mode technology thing. So basically what you do is you download the Chinese spy balloon as an airplane, which is spawned in as an AI. You can shoot down. Great. So that obviously means we can also spawn to it and fly it as an airplane. Great. Yes, check this out. We're now spawned in at the runway here of Savannah. Doesn't look the does look amazing. I mean, we've even got this little cockpit here. Even though it's kind of unusable because, like, I mean, you've got no propulsion, you've got nothing going on, no control. This is a very useless plane. I mean, this could be nice. You could be just, you know, drifted around by the wind like it was in real life. Isn't that great? Now, what is for sure a bit concerning is how many of these shooting downs happen at the moment. Like the frequency of like weird sightings above the skies sure is a bit strange. But everybody, this made me think of 
of a bit of an older invention of mine that I made last year. Can you see the 737 here? Can you see the missiles it has? Yes, everybody. Remember when I built a combat 737? And everybody, now, finally the time has come where this could be useful. I mean, there are way more airliners up in the skies than fighter jets. You know what? I'm always amazed at how well this plane works in its combat mode. Let me just show you here. We can just take off. I mean, a bit of an issue would be the high altitude. This thing doesn't near reach 60,000 feet. Also, we should maybe put the flaps down. It doesn't really matter at this point. Here we go. Let's take off. And let me just demonstrate one of the weapons here. Come on, can we shoot something? Yes. Oh, there we go. Normal American Airlines flight, everybody. Great, mm, nothing to worry about. But something that is to be worried about is this Chinese spy balloon we have here at 25,000 feet. No problem for the incredibly powerful 737 here. Can you see this ACAS map here? Can you see this thing? Can you see the red thing? Yes, I've armed the literal balloon now. Come on, let's go ahead and shoot a missile. There we go, like a few. Let's choose all, choose, choose all of them. Here we go. This will do. Genuinely, this will do. All right, I've just sent three missiles. We're at a very low speed. This will definitely work. Isn't this genius? Check this out. Boom! Everybody, we have brought down the Chinese sky balloon. And you know, it gets real funny when you play with the AI a little bit. I mean, we can ourselves spawn into the Chinese spy balloon, but maybe add a few F4 phantoms that are on our way to shoot us down. And honestly, thinking about this now kind of makes me sad. So we're now in the air here. I mean, we're, I mean, we're technically doing nothing wrong, except maybe violating airspace and diplomatic issues. But for some reason, we've got an F4 fan, like two F4 phantoms on our way to us. And that's like really cool, but also again, a bit sad. We're so helpless. Let's see how long it takes for us to get shut down. I mean, in real life, the Air Force also hesitated to shoot the thing down. So come on, let's see. Maybe the AI is a bit of a better fighter jet pilot than I am. So come on now, F4 Phantom. It's around about at our hout altitude here, coming straight towards us. Might just kamikaze us down as well. Ah! Okay, that's not gone well at all. Th oh, we've sh been shot down by two planes. Isn't this a bit unfair? No, stop! No! <laughs> okay, that didn't take long at all. That is a bit sad. Look how this thing has been destroyed. Yeah, in real life, they made sure to shoot this plane down only above water. So it did land in the ocean and had to be picked up by boat. So we're now just going to land in someone's backyard. I think that would be quite awkward. And honestly, it would only go to support the Chinese um, spying measures, isn't it? So that's great. <clears throat> but still, this is a very, very interesting contemporary little mission add-on thing you can download for your flight simulator. Isn't this nice? I'm going to just calmly land on the runway 10. Almost a butter landing. Check this out. Great. Ooh. So, buddy, that's been the whole drama of the Chinese balloon incident. I cannot wait to see for more things to be shot down by the Air Force. Maybe some UFOs. I think, personally, it's finally time for the Air Force to do some dogfighting with some aliens. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. And, of course, to the X-Plane team who sent me this thing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Well, thank you so much to all the people who give me lots of monies, like Mariana, Ragings, Junk in the Trunk, Mike, John O'Brien, Derek, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Kelly Chaos, Ryland Williams, New York, Shadow, Ignuana, and, and Moritz Bohausen. 